Peace and blessings, y'all, in this corner by some 24. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. How's everyone doing? Hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. God is good, God is great, as always. And uh, he's the reason why I'm here, so, you know, I'm grateful, you know. Um, so, yeah, you know. What I want to get into tonight, man, what I want to talk about, just so much going on, man, you know, in the boxing world. Um, you know, of course, we're anticipating this fight between Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence, and, you know, but in the meantime, man, you know, we got a hot, hot, lightweight division, man, you know, and um, it's a lot being said, you know, after the fight with Ryan Garcia this past weekend with Javier Fortuna, who's an ex-world champion, over 40 fights under his belt. Okay, and as I said, you know, he was in two close decisions with Robert Easter and Jojo Diaz, a fight that I thought that he won. And he, 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 he got uh, stopped by Jason Sosa six years ago. And after that, he was on a weak win streak six years ago. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, so his other two losses before Ryan Garcia was close fights, right? But what's talking, being talked about a lot is him and Tank, Brian Garcia and Tank. But then, you know, you also have Shakur Stevenson at 130, who's getting ready to come up, hopefully, in a couple of fights. And he's talking about fighting Tank and Devin Haney eventually, and even Ryan Garcia, if it presents itself. And then, of course, Devin Haney, man, you know, he's talking about fighting uh, Tank and Ryan Garcia. He, didn't really say, he hasn't really said too much about Shakur, but... You know, and that's because they, they, they real cool like that, man. So they don't really talk like that. Maybe as far as fighting each other, even though Shakur, he holds nothing back. He, he, you know, he, he, he mentions it. Devin Haney don't really mention it too much, but I know in the back of his mind, he know that eventually it's going to happen. He's going to have to fight Shakur, right? They're going to fight each other and may the best man win. That's a 50-50 fight, you know? Um, I think all those fights are pretty much 50-50. I would give Shakur the edge, though. Maybe 70, 30, 60, 40 against Tank, against uh, Devin Haney, and definitely against Ryan Garcia. I think he's going to be the last man standing out of those lightweights, right? I think everybody needs to really understand that Tank can't knock everybody out. He's not going to knock everybody out unless you fall into one of his traps, right? Bottom line, Leo Santa Cruz, good boxer. He was out boxing tank, landing some good shots. But we know, man, he came from Bantamweight, man, 118 pounds. Not a big dude. Don't, have, don't pack a lot of power. How was he going to hold Tank off? Tank was going to be able to walk him down sooner or later, and that's what he did. He trapped him on that rope and caught him with that uppercut, man. He was right there for it. It didn't take much. What did he do to Barrios? Little man walking a big man down. Now, you know, I had this conversation with, you know, one of my boys, and he says, well, you know, and I said to him, a little man is never a big man, a good big man is never supposed to let a good little man walk him down. And he said, well, that's been happening in boxing since the beginning. Little men walking down big men. Joe Frazier, he named Dwight Braxton, Dwight Muhammad Kwawi, yeah. They walk you down. They little men. They shorter. You know what I'm saying? They a little bit shorter. They walk you down. But Joe Frazier wasn't no 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, if I'm not mistaken, Joe Frazier was 5'11". But anyway, Dwight Braxton probably was 5'7". You know what I'm saying? So we're not going to put Joe Frazier in that category because he was 5'11". He was pretty tall. All right? Almost six feet. But I get the point, right? But here's the thing. When you're a big man and you got reach and you know how to create distance, you don't let a little man walk you down. And I don't think that Tank is going to be able to walk Ryan Garcia down without getting hit with something. And unless he just got metal in his chin and he's on some super steroids, he's going to have to taste that shot and he's going to get, he's going to get knocked down, right? Same way he can knock people down, he got to get knocked down too. So I don't know why people's talking like Tank is invincible. I'm not hating on him. I'm just saying, Ryan Garcia, 
at the end of the day, if he hit you, he could knock you out. He could hurt you. Body shot, left hook to the to the head, to the face. The dude got some power. So I'm saying he's not my favorite fighter, but I got respect the power and the skills that he got. If I can respect Tank, I can, I can respect him too. Devin Haney got decent power. Okay? You, you can't just run in there with him and do what you want to do. He could hurt you. Shakur got decent power. Valdez didn't just walk in there and do what he wanted to do, right? At a certain point, Valdez knew, man, yo, this dude got, got enough power, man. I got to be careful, right? And he could have stopped Valdez if he pushed the action when they fought. So it's not just Tank got power. All these dudes got power. He got explosive power, absolutely. But they all got some strength to them. And technique and speed is what creates that explosiveness. And if you got just decent power and you got the speed and the technique, man, it makes it even better. So I'm just saying they all have that, man. I think it's all 50-50 around the board for the most part, but I got your call, maybe 70-30, 60-40 with these guys, right? I think Devin, uh, Tank, and Ryan, those are 50-50 fights. That's what I think. But I will, like I said, I think whoever Ryan Garcia gets in there with, they got to be real careful not to get caught with that left hook. I think that left hook that he got is a neutralizer. I think it can change the fight. Okay? That shot that he landed on Fortuna to the body, that was a hell of a shot. That was, that, that, that was similar to the shot that he landed on Luke Campbell. Put him down, man. You know what I'm saying? And got back up from a knockdown in that fight with Luke Campbell, right? Last year. That three-piece combo that he put together and stopped Fortuna, that was a nice combo, man. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying he might not be the, the most, you know, technically sound, the best footwork and all of that. But he got something working with him that he, he was able to do that. That's all I'm saying. So you got to give the man credit. Give credit where credit is due. Um, we, I just want to see the fights, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. Right? So, Tiafimo Lopez, he's in the mix, too. I think he could beat Cambosis in a rematch. But now that he's where he's at, you know, he might not get a rematch. But then again, he might. Because after Devin Haney beat him the second time, what's he going to do? He might as well go ahead and put some more money in his, in his pocket and fight Tiafimo for a rematch and get his ass whipped. I mean, that would be a good move for him, actually. You know what I'm saying? Go fight Tia Fimo Lopez. Because who's he going to fight after Devin Haney? He's going to be right back on the bottom of the map. Right? I think Devin Haney should get get that fight with Lomacheco. Dust him off. Fight this dude in a rematch here in a neutral place. Not back in Australia. But if he has to, man, he really has to do a third fight with him. A second fight with him. A third fight under that contract, man. Just dust him off, man, and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Just dust them off and keep it moving, man. But um, Shakur, like I said, he got two more fights, man, at 130. No more. He fight uh, Conceo. Ropes into Conceo, the one that fought Valdez in the close fight when he tested positive. It's a good fight for him. Maybe one more fight. Maybe he fight uh, uh, Rivera. That'd be a good fight for, for Shakur. Rivera, the one that beat um, Hector Lewis Rivera. The one um, that beat Chris Colbert. I think that'll be a good fight for him. Or well, am I mixing the name up? Hector Lewis Garcia or is it Rivera? It's either Garcia or Rivera, but the, one, the last fight that Chris Colbert had where he slept on him and he got beat. I think that'll be a good fight for Shakur, okay? Um, because yeah, he need to move up to 135. You know, their bodies are starting to fill out and they, they want to reach their potential. They don't know how long, you don't know how long your 
your, your, your career is going to last. Everybody's not fighting for 10, 15, 20 years. So you got to get what you can get when you can get it. All right? Um, so, yeah, man, lightweight division is on fire. And we just want to see these fights, man. So I just pretty much named it, man. I think Cambosa should fight Tiafimo Lopez again. I think Ryan Garcia got time. I think this is the time for him to fight Tank because Devin Haney's locked in with two fights and Shakur is locked in with at least two more fights at 130. So Ryan Garcia needs to try to go ahead and get that fight because once Shakur come up and Devin Haney finish his business and one of them get to him, he's going to be pretty much done. So he better try to really, he really need to try to get that fight with Tank and get it over with because that's what's going down. And Tiafimo Lopez, I think he could beat Tiafimo, you know? Tiafimo Lopez and George Cambosis, man. I think that's a that's a that's a winner right there. A rematch. Redeem himself. And um, I think that's what the lightweight division, man, is all about right now. I think those are the fights, man, that's so important. Those are the fights that'll happen. And um that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much all I got. Peace and blessings in this corner box in 24. Please subscribe to the page. Please leave your comments. Please be safe out there. COVID is still here. Numbers are going up, I'm hearing. So just protect yourself, social distance, and be safe. Peace.